One time for the one time. Don't I always talk about the electromagnetic fields, the quantum fields, uh, protons, electrons, atoms, quarks, uh, DNA. You know, it's a message in everyone's DNA. <laughs> you got to unlock the message. But these people, they've been doing this for some time now. So you got to listen with a... a, a, a you know, your God ears, put it that way, <laughs> put it that way. You know, you can't listen with your conscious mind because of the things that we've been programmed to believe. And, uh, you know, the legal fictions. But uh, this is the time we in the battleground where we going to, uh, uh, you know, arrive and ascend to the next level of consciousness. But he's talking about the, the Higgins boson which is boson, which is, you know, corks and the guard particles. I wrote a, I'm writing a song about this shit. That's why I'm glad I, um, I got some of this and I can share it. Neutrinos, we have muons. There's a whole zoo of elementary particles we will be talking about in lecture three. I just posted it on Facebook. The reason why the Higgs boson is hard to understand is because particles are actually not what the world is made of. We talk about that, we use that all the time, and so when we talk about the Higgs boson, it's a particle, it's a boson, which as we will see is one of the two major kinds of particles. However, that's just sort of a sloppy approximation to the, to the true underlying reality. Our modern idea, the idea that is really centrally important to modern physics, is that the world is not made of particles, but it's made of fields. Thank you. A field, unlike a particle, is spread out everywhere. It's everywhere. It's We're everywhere. At See, every universe. Point in space and time. A particle has a location, but a field is spread out everywhere and is vibrating, is changing its value. See, vibrating. Like the temperature of the air in the room at every point. Elect in a room, there's a uh, temperature. Energy, That's frequency. A That's a field. And vibration. Temperature is not a fundamental field. It's a derived quantity that comes from the air, comes from the molecules. The modern point of view on the fundamental nature of reality is that quantum fields quantum vibrating fields. at every location in space and throughout time are the fundamental building blocks of nature. You may have heard the question, is light or are electrons particles or waves? I will tell you the answer. They are waves. They are waves. They are vibrating quantum mechanical fields. What we call particles are Where's just what we see okay. when we look at the field. That is the miracle of quantum mechanics. That's one of the subtle Look things we we'll have to describe during the, this course. The purple. Now, why is it such a big difference? That violet why color. Care that the world is made of fields versus particles. Well, like I said, when you look at the field, you see it vibrating, you see a particle there. So it makes perfect sense to use the language of particle physics to say there's an electron particle, even though we really know there's a vibration in the electron field. The one difference is the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is itself a particle. It is a vibration in a field called the Higgs field. But unlike all the other particles, unlike the electron, which Namaste, is a vibration in the electron she, field, uh, the photon, which is a vibration in the electromagnetic field, for the Higgs boson, the particle is beside the point. For the Higgs boson, it's the Higgs field that really matters. On that day, July 4th, 2012, People were very excited to announce the discovery of the Higgs boson. But what got them excited was the knowledge that there is a Higgs field that fills space. You are soaking in it, as the commercials used to say. That is really what makes modern particle physics go. The idea that everywhere around you, as you walk through the universe, as you wave your hand through space, you are moving through the Higgs field. All right. Now remember. Now, y'all want to get more of that? Y'all got to go to um, Woodrum uh, Wonders. And that's what is the Higgs boson. You know what I'm saying? By Sean uh, Carroll discussing the God particle. You know, from the cosmos. That ether. It's all around you, man. So we just got to learn to tap into it. One time for the one time, Sunshine TV on the classroom on a Monday.